In the east of Scotland, a community is proposing to build its own wind farm. That community is Newborough, so our local reporter, Leslie Riddick, popped along to meet members of the community trust and their consultant to find out what was going on. Um, I work for uh, Ecodyne, which is a small consultancy that's actually based in Newborough. Um, so this is a local project for ourselves. Um, the project itself, uh, we've been involved in, in various aspects. Um, to do with the, the planning application and also for working with the community uh, trust to ensure that what is brought together is appropriate for the town as well as will generate income and generate power which is the key to wind turbines. So tell us something about the size and the scale of the Newborough wind project. It's a small development compared to most of the large commercial developments that you see around the hills in this area. So it's going to be three larger turbines. Each one of those will you know, generate a significant amount of energy that's going to easily exceed the total demand for the whole town. The people we've spoken to are very keen on the money that will come to Newborough because of the wind turbines. Um, are, do they regard you as a kind of bit of a wide-eyed eco-maniac? Sadly, everything comes down to pounds, shilling and pence. It, it's horrible. I would love the world to think in different ways. And no matter what we do, whoever we are, everything does come down to money. And the, the project is designed to provide an income which in the short term will be a large sum and in the longer term will, can be, can, well, will not only offset the loans that will pay for the turbines but will bring in a significant amount of money. So how much will the turbines earn for Newborough? Uh, it's approximately somewhere between one and a half and two million pounds per annum. So Newborough Town will be a millionaire? Yes, it does, but you've got to take into account the town has to pay for these turbines up front. Um, therefore, the community trust is probably going to be parting with a very significant amount of money. So it's going to be 10, 11 years before those loans are paid off. And if this all comes to pass, would this mean that people like yourself, young people, whose family have centuries of tradition in this area, would that make you stay? The benefit for this, this one is that this is a project that's being led by the community so all profits will come back into the community and um, I think it's you know we've heard various suggestions as to where the money can go and that's where people can get involved that money is has to be used for something the Newbury Community Trust is set up a not-for-profit company that will run these turbines that money has to go back into the system so there's a number of projects including the one that I quite like from which is the real halt um, which would be a fantastic thing to have for both the people of Newborough and for the surrounding villages such as Abernethy. So tell me, what is it about the idea of wind turbines that really attracts you? Oh, 20 years ago I went out to Denmark because my, one of my sons lives there and I said to him, I'm going to stop the car, I want to see this turbine. He says, why? I says, I just want to go and see it. So I went, actually went over and hugged it. And for that day, I just thought they were lovely. So and then, in, in the village in, in Denmark here, where he lives, every house has under four eaten. And I mean, so due to the turbines. And I just say, oh, I wish we could get them here. And I've been at Andrew for years and years and years. Why can we not get turbines? So is this your idea? Mm. Well, not really. But even when you went abroad, you flew into Spain and you could see hundreds of these things and yet there's hardly, was hardly any in, in Britain. And I just want to jump on the bandwagon and see if we kind of get some new money for Newbury. Like sort the piers, maybe get a sports centre, just something for Newbury. No other people getting cheap bills. Tell us where Newbury is for anyone who's not from Fife. Newborough is in the periphery of Fife, you may as well say. It's close to the Berkshire border and it's on the River Tay. It's really between Perth and Cooper. 
And what about the lino factory that was down beside the river? Um, did it make Newburgh a very busy town? Well, it was because, again, the piers, they brought the linseed oil in on board and then the linoleum went out. So it was quite a thriving uh, little town. It's not a village, it's a town. And now, what was it like to work there? Everybody's, I mean, everybody knew everybody else, even although they came for leave and there's Kennaway, but I mean, you still got to, whoever was in your department, you still got to know them. But it really was a happy place to work. As it happens, generated their own electricity then. Mm -hmm. And this place here was supplied from down there. The heating and the electricity from the linoleum factory. That was that quite some time ago, so we're really going full circle when you're all talking about uh, what you're doing for your environment and everything like that. We've already done that. But, I mean, since we started the trust, you just feel... I mean, I've always wanted to do something for Newborough, but you just feel, well, the more you do for the place, this is our hometown. You want to see it get going up, no going down. And, I mean, the, the, the businesses have gone down. There's not so many businesses in the town now. But it's still... It's, it's a fairly happy place. And I just want to see the younger generation getting something out of it. You've been an electrician all your life. Uh, does that influence your interest in this turbine project? I've been an electrician. I probably understand it a bit more than, as it were, just a lay person. But not enough to go in and, and too, too deep. But uh, the main driving force for me is the amount of money that Newborough hopefully can make out of it. And I'm slightly different from Irene, depending how much of the money we get, I'm all in favour of, for argument's sake, say, I don't know, £200 or a figure to every house in the KY14 initially, and then whatever life could be spent on the sports hall or whatever, or the piers, whatever. But I'm in favour of all the people who have went through all this, petitions and everything we've had, I think they should get at least some in their household of their electricity. What would you say to people who just don't like the look of turbines? They're elegant. I just, I just like them. I would, I would have one with a bad green if we could get one. Tell me, it's, it's choice, isn't it? You either like them or you don't like them. But the, the argument about whether they're better or worse than pylons, to me, there's no competition. The pylons are an absolute eyesore. And I've been, what I've been doing down in England, there's quite a lot down there, and we've went alongside it. The noise is virtually non-existent. Yeah, the tractor all, makes more noise. Well, <laughs> a lot of the arguments is, I would think, misplaced. Uh, they don't have enough information. Tell people how they could get in touch with the council if they do want this project, this wind turbine project for Newborough, to go ahead. The way to let the council know that you're in favour of the wind turbines is go on the Community Trust website. And please come and ask me any question you like in the charity show. Or at home. I do. <laughs> That's very good.